So before you hire a coach, right, you need to understand the learning phase first. So stuff you need to learn. The coach cannot teach you this. Cannot teach you this because there are concepts in League of Legends like macro that are knowledge based. All right. So think about concepts, right? So there is knowledge based. Okay. The second one is skill based. All right. So these are your mechanics. All right. This is. Um, Positioning, probably. Playing around cooldowns. And understanding matchups. Now, understanding matchups could be knowledge based as well, but you need experience. No coach will have experience of the full game or about the matchups. Like, no coach can tell you that um, level 2 jacks with Doran Blade. And Lethal Temple is stronger than Conqueror Darius level 2. Does that make sense? Like, Coach cannot tell you, for example, that level 1 E star Trindamir is weaker than Set, who started E. But if Trindamir starts Q, he is stronger than Set. This is knowledge of matchups, right? No one is gonna tell you that, for example, Level 1 to 3, Trundle is stronger than Trindamir. No matter, even if Trindamir has full fury. But level 4, Trindamir is stronger on full fury. No one is going to tell you that. Right? So you have to learn that through experience. Right? And the best way to do that is you need to play one-on-one, -on -one, basically. Right? Go into Summoner's Rift, write down mid lane, top lane, ADC, whatever, and play... The rules are typically, typically, they are like 100 CS, first blood, or turret kill. Now, turret kill are probably going to change to maybe uh, three plates. Because honestly, to kill a turret before 10 minutes is impossible. I already tried it. It's just impossible. Right. So. But anyway, 100 CS is easier than turret anyway. Right. So you see, when you go to your coach, if this, if when you're paying for coaching, if this is not on point, the coach cannot help you. Do you understand? Because you're going to be feeding all of your games. Not going to be feeding, but you're going to be coin flipping all of your games because this is not on point. And we're talking about like when you're getting coaching, I'm talking about you want to learn how to carry the games. I'm not talking about you picking a brain dead tank and you're just coin flipping every game to take advantage of engagement optimized matchmaking, right? That's not League of Legends. I don't understand why people play the game that way because you never learn. Does that make sense? Like, tanks do not teach you anything. If your team is good, you win. If your team is bad, you don't. That's it. That's the tank meta, right? Whereas if you play stuff like Riven, you know, Trindamir. Uh, to some extent, Garen, Darius, Jax, uh, Camille, Fiora, right? Akali, Yasuo, Yone, right? Now, you have to learn how to carry with these champions. These champions can impact the game. They can carry alone, right? But they have a price, which means you have to practice on them, right? Now, if you're planning, if you're planning to play tank... Just go get a coach and he'll tell you how to back correctly, right? So let's let's talk about knowledge, okay? So item builds, I'd say it's in here. Um, how to control the wave. So we're talking about uh, bouncing the wave. We're talking about freezing the wave, slow pushing, and resetting, right? Uh, macro, so stuff like um, split pushing um, opposite to the main objective, where to position yourself. Well, not to where to position, but like what to do before the objective sp sp 
spawns. Like, so for Trindamir, for example, you want to push mid lane right before the dragon spawn because you get to, like, you get to full fury. And even if you lose the dragon, they lose the mid wave, right? And you can also sometimes, if your team ints, because it typically happens in solo queue, you can rotate to mid lane because the wave is already pushed. You can at least sometimes take the turret. So there you get at least something, right? So this is this is something that the coach can teach you, right? But coach, but this is secondary. Your primary is you need this first, okay? You need this first. And the way to learn this the fastest is to play one-on-one, -on -one. all right? Because trying to do it game by game in league of legends is not going to work it's gonna take too it's it's too slow why because let, let me show you right so this guy is a fiora main he's diamond player and he played he has 1.2 million points right and he still lost to me even though i'm like a casual very very casual player and i play trindemir and fiora is very strong to trindemir and yet he still lost so how did that happen I'm going to link my video in the description below, but you need to understand how engagement optimized matchmaking system works, right? So it's very simple. Two games you auto win. Two games auto lose. And then one game you control. Okay, so think about it this way. 80% uh, of your games are a waste of your time. So you really cannot practice that much in these games because most of the time... In, in, in winner's queue, your opponent is going to be brain dead. Uh, he's going to be like a five-year-old kid who is going to literally run into you, right? So you're not really practicing anything there. In loser's queue, most likely uh, you're going to be playing against a guy who is like a smurf or something. And if he's not a smurf, his jungler is probably going to sit in your lane. So you won't even be able to lane correctly. Or you're going to get like giga counter pick by something that is just unplayable, right? So again, you cannot really practice anything. And this is going to happen 80% of your time. So think about it, right? Out of 100 hours, 80 hours are total waste of your time. So you need to f find a way. How do I make this process efficient? And the way to do that is to play one-on-one. -on -one. Because then you get rid of this junk. Because those 80 games are junk, right? Now you are efficient. And like I'm proving this to you, it's not a theory, because I can beat a lot of players that should beat me. The amount of effort they're putting in, they should beat me. But the problem is, they are... 80% of their effort is wasted. Because it's engagement optimized matchmaking, right? Okay? So before you hire a coach, master your fundamentals. Whoopsie. Okay, you need to master this first. Because coach cannot help you. And if, uh, if, you're, if, if you're bad in here, it's very hard to carry games. Like very, very, very hard. Right, so I'm telling you, like before you get a coach, play a lot of one on one. These are your rules. So this way you get rid of this junk. Okay. Take care.